Hello and welcome to another French Cheeks Top Tip video. I'm Craig Phillips, their brand ambassador. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to paint wooden floorboards using French Cheeks Al Fresco, weatherproof inside, outside, chalk and mineral furniture paint. From cleaning and preparing new or old, hard or soft wooden floorboards, masking the skating boards, cutting in around the edges with a paintbrush, applying the paint on with a roller, and then feathering it out with a brush. Then the same again for the second coat. Now preparation is the key to every successful job because if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I'd certainly advise starting off by scrubbing all the surfaces down with some sugar soap. Mixed with hot water, really scrub off them surfaces. Once you've rinsed them through, dry them out. Then you can start your sanding. We recommend the same preparation on all projects. A good scrub with sugar soap, rinse and allow to dry, then followed with a light hand sand, sufficient to abrade the surface. Vacuum away the dust and then you're ready to go. As with any project, prep is important. The surfaces should be in good condition, clean, dry and free from contamination. Any previous wax or oil-based protective treatment will need to be removed as part of the surface preparation. Now, if your skating boards are a different kind or colour paint, you may need to mask up along the edge if you're not comfortable about cutting in. Lucky for me, I'm using the same paint, so I don't need to mask up the rest of the room. My flooring is untreated softwood, so for my first coat, I've diluted my paint down by 10%. You can either use alfresco or chalk wall paint for painting hard and softwood floors, concrete and most laminate floors. The alfresco is a flat finish. Chalk wall paint is an ultra matte. The paint is self-leveling and very durable on its own. For perfect coverage, a minimum of two coats are recommended at a rate stated on the tin. Now I apply the paint onto the floorboards using a four inch roller. It's a little small radiator roller, a foam head on it. And for me, it's so much quicker and easier. And all I do is apply it on one of the planks, regardless how thick or wide it is. And I take my large brush and feather across the paint I've just applied. And that way I've got a nice, even, smooth finish. Now one thing to remember when you're painting a whole floor in a room is to make sure that you can get out of the room, of course. You don't want to paint yourself into a corner and then not be able to leave the room. For me, I've got a door here, of course, so I can leave that way. I'm almost ready to apply my second coat on the floor. I've left this to dry overnight. However, the minimum drying times is about four hours, but you must take your shoes off when working on the surface. I am going to give the surface a gentle little sand down with a P150 grade. The reason for this is because the first coat that I applied onto the bare wood, I diluted the paint down so it was a little bit thinner. It penetrates into that wood, anchors onto it, which is exactly what we want. However, it might leave the surface, certainly where the knots are, a little bit more coarse and a little bit rougher. So I tend to just get the light sandpaper and give it a little sanding down. Then I'll vacuum the floor, wipe it down, and it's ready for the second coat. I'm gonna start on the same side of the room again and just paint one plank at a time with my roller and feather it out with the brush. This time for the second coat, it's not diluted. The paint is mixed up and straight out of the can. If your floor is expecting very high traffic, you can choose to apply two coats of either tough top coat, which gives you a matte finish, or finishing coat, which is a satin finish, as a layer of extra protection if desired. For the perfect coverage, a minimum of two coats are recommended, at the rate stated on the tin. Once painted, do not walk on the area for four hours, and then with socks for the next seven days. Try to keep your pets off the area to avoid damage. Continue to treat the areas gently for the next three weeks until it's fully cured. We'd also advise you do not allow painted areas to become wet for at least a week. French Cheek paints are self-priming, low odour, water-based. UK, CA and 
EN7136 certified. So they're safe to use on children's toys. The paint can also be thinned slightly and applied sparingly using a dry brush technique for a fabulous beachy or distressed look. So that's my floor now complete after two solid coats. Now, of course, remember, if you're expecting a lot of heavy traffic on here, you can also apply a couple of coats of tough top coat or finishing coat for that extra protection. If you want to see more how-to videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Frenchy TV. Or if you're just looking for some more inspiration, head over to the Frenchy Fan Forum on Facebook. And of course, if you want to know more about the products I've been using, visit the website, frenchypaint.co.uk.